The S stands for science, the T stands for technology, the E stands for engineering, and the A stands for accent design, and the M stands for mathematics. Welcome back to the channel once again. My name is Gosses, of course, your HSA high school promoter across the country. But I have this, this, you know, this year, 2023, I'll be in Nigeria. You'll be shocked. So, um, a very big shout out to Fox. Fox means Forums of, Head. of Heads of Girls Senior High, High School. school yes. Yeah, so it's an institution, like an organization that is so deep into girl child education. And every year, they bring all the girl schools across the country together for capacity building and they train them. They teach them a lot of things, yeah. So this year they hosted it here in your school, yes. Fantman Girls. You are so fortunate. <laughs> High five. <laughs> they hosted it here, and then I have to be here to see everything that is happening. So I have the privilege to to host these girls here on HSA Forum. Yeah, a very big shout out to the Regional Education Director, Central Region, Madam Justine Apple. I've heard you doing tremendous amount of good fun. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see you. There's so much to be done in the region as far as education is concerned. And also, if you do appreciate everything that is happening here, please give me endorsement. Hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification. It means that you appreciate everything that is happening here. I can't stress enough on my full sponsorship. You say I should go to uh, Mount Pong. Uh, uh, it's far. I don't have money. On. So please, connect tell the four companies that it's really interesting over here and the change that is happening here is a lot and they have to come in to help we are going to have a conversation about stem stem hey stem is what science technology STEM or STEAM? STEAM. STEAM. so there's STEAM. steam and there's, and there's STEM. STEM. But it's the same stem or steam but steam, steam what are the steam difference design. so stem is without arts and design yeah. but steam steam is the new and improved one yeah. so they have art and design in it because that is also important so science technology art and design steam we are going for steam okay. <laughs> she know because that's the bigger one we have art and design in it yeah so i want steam let's talk about steam and now this is this is a discipline that is men dominated when we talk of stem or steam it's, you see the big boys in there now should should girls patronize stem should girls go all out for stem or 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 we should leave it to the boys because over there we have the notion that because it's dominated by boys like men when girls are trying to get in there, some people ask for some useless offers. It's uncalled for. I don't want to go there. So now, should we, should we leave it to the men to go all out or girls should get in there? Girls should get in there. Of course, um, we have normal words like when they say ladies work, we, people start talking about the... You, you know them catering, catering mm -hmm. and hairdressing <laughs> this handiworks handiworks and all that so washing washing <laughs> hey, Jesus. so we leave that to the girls for them to do that all girls should go out all out for stem we're going to have this conversation you're going to tell me your name your first your name your school and where it is located then we get down to the conversation starting from my extreme left sis Okay. I give regards to the name Blessing Boziako, coming all the way from Prince of Peace Girls Senior High School, located at South Interest. Hey, you say Blessing Boziako? Yes. Who is that? Ah, that's your name? Yes. Please. Oh, okay. I, I thought you said you give regards to... Is that what you said? Yes. So that's a way of mentioning your name. Yes. Chale, it's serious evolution here. <laughs> the introduction, it has changed. <laughs> Amazing. I'm in the person of a JYB girl. From Our Lady of Providence, Buno region. Awesome. Sister. Okay. So my name is Condoleezza Kwaku. Queen Elizabeth. No. <laughs> Condoleezza. Wow. Yes. Condoleezza Kwaku. I am an infantman girl. And it's located in Central Region, South Pond. This is your school? Yes. You are the one hosting us. If we misbehave, we will smell pepper. <laughs> <laughs> 
We are on her land, we can do it. <laughs> Amazing, say something, sister. I'm Angela Baita Botisom from the school of Mansour Girls near High, opposite St. Louis Kumasi. Opposite St. Louis? Yes, please. Hey, I see. You talk about that. Sister, say something. My name is Jessica Opare. I'm from Holy Child School, located in Cape Coast. Holy Child School here in Cape Coast. Now, STEM. Should girls go all out for STEM or Mayanti Adrim Nienda? Let's just do what we have to do. I mean, baby, baby, catering is also work and it's paying huge. Yes. Dressmaking is work, it's paying huge. Mm -hmm. uh, well, friend, then, hair make, hair do, stylist. Yes. Charlie, things are happening, okay. tremendous business, yes. fastness, and all that. You can yeah. focus on that and leave the engineering to the men and all that. What do you think about this? Okay. So, to me, I feel like it should depend on the person. Wherever your heart will lead you, that's where you should go. Mm. You shouldn't feel like if you are doing kitchen, you shouldn't feel undermined because you are doing kitchen. A girl doing kitchen is equal to a girl doing something in science or engineering, even though maybe the workload is different, but they are both of equal importance. So, if you are doing kitchen or you are doing engineering, I say go for it, because this world, we are trying to survive. You must do everything you can to survive. And if you find passion in it, then that's Go all. Go all out for it. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> I first of all like to tell them the full meaning of the STEM. The S stands for science, the T stands for technology, the E stands for engineering, and the A stands for arts and design, and the M stands for mathematics. I think girls should involve themselves into it. They shouldn't like base everything on these handworks, headdressing, fashionists, and other things. They should like try to put themselves into the engineering, the, the like a lot, the arts and design, because it really helps. And it's your mindset, it's your goal that it's a goal. If you have really targeted this, you shouldn't have that less courage about it. You think, oh, it's only boys that can do it. You are a girl. As a saying goes, what a man can do, a woman can do it better. So if you've seen boys doing it, you should also put up your best. You should be encouraged, be brave and bold to do it. So I think... Girls should go yes. all out for STEM. Yes. They there. You they there. You say yes. that. You'll be shocked. Sister, say something. So I also believe that the STEAM education should be patronized by girls. Why? Because looking at our world today, everything that goes on is about STEAM. Everything is about science. Everything is about technology. Even where we are sitting. The tools and the machines that we're using, everything is STEAM. So girls should not center their knowledge or their education more on the vocational or technical skills. In case there's any technological advancement and people, especially girls, are not adapted to the use of um, science and technology. Example, when we change from the use of typewriter to computers, that means those who do not have the knowledge as to how to use the computers will be laid off. And this shouldn't happen. Our girls should be able to accept the STEAM education because this world has been in control um, with the, the guys has been in control over this world and it's high time women take over. So I think this team education must be adopted by girls. You said it's this high time women take over. Yes, yes, of course. I agree. I mean, strongly. Uh, 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 share in uh, the equal benefits. I mean, come to uh, what 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 word should I what phrase should I use? You you get what I'm trying to equality. say? Equality. Yeah. Equality. Yeah. Or women should take over. Women should. Women take over. should take over. Because. Uh, men has been taking over for the past years. Oh, wow. And it's time <laughs> the truth we hits. take over. Amazing. Yeah. It is time women see. It, it's not a serious uh, advocacy job she's doing here. <laughs> she wants women to take over. Of course. We need to take over. <laughs> <laughs> the time they'll remember me. <laughs> Amazing. Who else has something to say? I think I do. Please, I think let's I talk. agree with the fact that you have to follow what you want to do, like you follow your passion. But here's a case where maybe you're a hairdresser or you bake, and then you, instead of like you, your means of advertisement is like maybe you tell a neighbor to tell a neighbor, but then here's a case where the world has evolved. And now we use technology for everything. Yeah. So like the video we are doing right now, some instead of maybe you can share it to other people and it will get viral and people will see it. So imagine you're a baker and you have like now people have like IG pages for those kinds of things. So they advertise and it gets money more than 
those who maybe have kiosks like in the middle of somewhere and you know they just get maybe one one customers but then online a lot of people are there you can even get people outside the country to buy your things and that's i guess i guess it's better so they should prioritize the steam education so jessica i get what you're saying so you are saying that we shouldn't limit ourselves to one thing only yeah. it should be versatile so if you are doing something in catering something in hairdressing you should also know something about technology yeah. you should know how like you can advance how your way around how, the internet yes, how to work your way around the internet let's say you're using this product you should know what is in the product like what will help you build your business most definitely and through technology be able to advertise it across the world as well yeah so and ladies or girls when they evolve themselves in this it makes them great in the society actually they really become noble in the society like they have that state so people do like respect them a lot they get a lot of respect from the men the boys at work because they think they're the only people that can do this and that so when they see a lady or like a girl doing this and that or is capable of doing this and that they do really respect them it's true because i visited a certain beach resort some i think last year or early this year and then in a conversation uh, the, there was a lady there we were having a conversation and then something came up i said well you said she, she said she she works here so this is a big a very it's a very big huge resort i'm not going to say the name though and i was like so what do you do here say so, yeah, i'm the it um in, I'm the one in charge of IT of this place. I said, what did you say? Because I'm the one in charge of IT. I said, hey, IT. He said, yes, I'm the one in charge of IT. I said, okay. And from that, I began to see her from a different level. Altogether. Women taking control. Because when it comes to IT tech, we are yeah. looking at men, men over there. Yeah. And there is a lady who has broken. She's broken into the system. And then she's there. She's occupying the space. And all the guys are listening to um what she has to say to to bring checks secreting and everything into that um beach resort and it was very interesting yeah so and these days i feel like you don't really see we are trying we are actually trying yeah. compared to back then we are really getting to high places you you see a company and then you see the board of directors formerly you see only men but yeah. nowadays you see like one, two women. That yeah. is not enough, but yeah. at least something. And I saw your cameraman shaking his head mm. when you said something. Now, when say you it. Said, when say, you it. Said, say it. 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 Say Hmm. Is that you don't know what you are saying? Literally is that it? You, and everybody will see you. I want to ask him a question. Hmm. I want to ask him whether he wants, in this modern age, hmm. where everyone is suffering, let's say in this our, our era, where everyone is suffering, you want a woman who doesn't do anything. Hmm. You want a woman who is helpless. You want to take oh. care of that person. Is that hmm. what you want? Hmm. Hmm. Is that what you want? It, it, no. not, Come and answer the question. I'm not saying, <laughs> and I'm not saying that that is a bad thing. Oh, I know that there are some people, there are some people who are ready to like take control, like some men who are ready to take control, and some women who are ready to like just you know be taken yeah. care of. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's your choice. Amazing. But, and can you imagine now? This all the men are going out there for the ladies who are now progressing. Independent. Now. Yes. Yeah. So, so you stay there don't and don't improve yourself. You to sit jobless, doing nothing. Yes. But I instance my brother like this. And um, a time came then. He was talking about like marrying then with my mom. Then I was like, um, he should marry a lady that is not working. I was just cracking some jokes. Then he stared at me like, like you understand, you bab. So Amazing. the expectation is woman. Us, like ourselves in some things that you can also do as well. So Mr. Cameraman, change your mentality. <laughs> oh, you should. Direct to you, we put it to you. You know, I think it's time that we become independent because uh, guys will be like they are the ones are who can do everything in terms of steam yes in terms of steam it's high time we become independent because the guys will be like they they can do everything but at the long run they will be the same people who will be like women cannot do what we can do so i think our women should get the courage to involve themselves in the steam education because it will make them critical thinkers and in fact illiteracy in terms of 
STEAM education is killing many people. Because yeah. you can see someone will be working at the shop and will not be even advanced with the technology, even the calculator. And at the end of the day, it will bring loss, which yeah. the person can think and will not understand why is it that my business is not progressing. But at least a little knowledge of the STEAM education, how your science is applied, how your technology and even your mathematics will help you progress. Yeah. Blessing, I like the way you think. That's true. Imagine if you've been baked Amazing. as well. When you, if you are baking, everything you're doing, it's in measurements. Yeah. Imagine. So if you don't involve yourself in this, how are you going to do everything then? At the end, you mess up. You see. Yes. So And we know that we have to help ourselves. But people out there, you need to help us, especially women in very high places. See this program like this. It has empowered me. It has really empowered me. I can see so many girls from so many different places, from Tema, from Volta, from this and that. You see how they talk and you are so inspired. Like, so there are girls out there, you really need to help us. Help us bring, right now, we are here, bring us here. We need to get to the top. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Let us, when we get there, we'll be higher than the men. Yeah. yeah. First, for sure. first, we have to get to the... Let me make it quiet. Stop shaking your head. Yeah. That's it. Let me make it quiet. That's it. We, we so, but, but, but what, I, what I actually think about this is, it is a space. It's a whole huge space that is out there. The STEM, uh, the world of science, engineering, technology and all that. It's a huge space that is out there. Just that in time past, women have not really paid attention to that. But it, it's, it, to me, it's really that simple. When we all show up on the table and we have to present something there that qualifies us to handle certain position it's it's i don't think if you qualify for the work if you really do qualify you fit in there in that space they will deny you that service that because we're a woman you should not be there like i gave an example of the lady who is um the, the it yeah. expert yeah. In, yeah, but all guys presented their certificate they presented their report to uh, the management and said that, okay, this is, this is what I can do. This is a proof of everything. And they look into it and they saw that, okay, you qualify better than all of them. Why did they say because she's a lady? So they should relegate her to the background and then go in for. So I think it's a whole huge space that is there. Yeah. You just have to come all out and make up your mind that I'm going to go all out to, if I want to become an engineer, I want to operate all these machines, big machines, the road machines, and then the industrial, huge industrial machines. You make up your mind and you say, I want to go all out for that. And then go, you pursue it and you prove yourself that of course you are, you are capable of, of um, handling that position. Who, 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 who not, no demon is even strong enough to stop you. Yes. Yes. And um, adding up to what she said about so you say that okay yes that's one instance that okay she came she was qualified and she got the job mm -hmm. i have heard of stories whereby the boss is a man and i don't know maybe he's say sexist. it as it is maybe he's sexist yes. i don't know what, what is but, that what is oh, sexist? That's, um if you let's say the men if you are you lean towards the men side you are like Everything a man should do it. Everything a man mm. like uh. you, you don't take the woman for anything, okay. basically. So I've heard of stories whereby the woman is really qualified, though, but just because she's a woman, they're like bad, yeah, mm. like she can't. So she, he will he will give it to a more let's say someone who is not really of that standard, but she, he will give it to a man instead. And I've heard of stories. A lot of them. A lot of them. A lot. But now, so many. But now, I think yeah, it's true. What you're saying could be true. You want to say something? Yeah, you are saying no one can stop you from if you are trying to involve yourself into that. That's what I think. But um, the men who are into this and they are now outside developing other countries. Mm. Why don't they come here and help those who are willing to? They end up going outside to develop the other countries that are already been developed. When Ghana, we are not developed. They should rather come here. A lot of girls are outside that are smart and they are willing. If the help is there, bet me they will do something that yes. you'll be shocked. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you also considered the working environment, the condition? Because for people to have good morale to work, work. there has to be a conducive environment for them to yes. strive. So 
I think all those comes together those to factors. Yeah, because people really want to help. I mean, yeah, give out their knowledge to other people yes. to yes, but but the condition sometimes make it almost impossible for. I think some of those things. That's what I think though. Yeah. And okay, I want to say that um, this country, you. I want to say, you people put too much pressure on us girls. Where are you from? I'm from are you a Ghanaian? I'm a Ghanaian. Eh. Yes. <laughs> yes. I asked Ghanian. because of how, how you constructed your your statement. I'm but sorry. it's fine. Say <laughs> so you Ga people. Ghanians. Oh, but I'm a Ghanaian. Okay. Yeah, I'm a proud Ghanaian. Of course. Yes. It should be. Yeah. But you, you put too much pressure on us. You want someone to be a good wife, a good mother. And on top of that, a full working doing, woman. Yes, a full working woman. You, let's say, I'm working and then I'm married and then I give birth. You expect me to me, me to be the one to stop working, <laughs> to take care of the. I feel like you guys asked, sorry, we <laughs> <laughs> are being so unfair, yeah. especially to us, Amazing. the girls. I yeah, think um, that started in the past. Yes. The mentality that women are supposed to hide the themselves. Women are supposed to do women this. They don't do that. And, then do men, that. Oh. and it's yes. still and there. I think it's still there. It's but then education there. is taking it away bit by bit. It's and that's the like reason why education we, has brought a lot of women into their lives. It's um, as hard, but we, it's not, it's not, we it's are not, not there. Enough. We are not there. You feel like you are not there yet. Yeah. Amazing. So now this conversation has been about women going all out um for stem education yes i think the avenue is there the 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 doors are widely opened the bottom of this conversation is that women should i mean build the confidence to say that i want to i want to pursue engineering i want to do science i want to do this i want to do this and all that and if you really open up for that i mean nobody uh, can stop you so if, um they're going to say their final words to you, and then after that will be it. Sister, you, you say your name again, and then the school you from, where it is located, and then you go out and say, you go ahead and say what you want to okay, say. Once again, my name is Jessica Opare from Holy Child School, which is located in Cape Coast. So I think we should prioritize STEAM education for girls. Okay, I'm a student of Mansell Girls near High, and I'm the person of Angela Baita Botiso. My school is actually located in Kumasi, of St. Louis, and I think STEM should be prioritized for girls in the school. Awesome. My name is Kondeliza Kwaku from a Phantom Man Girls in Central Region, and I say to every girl out there, don't be undermined. Don't let any person bring you down, especially if the person is a boy. If you need help, Come out and say it. We will help you. If the person that's close to you, not someone will help you. Keep advocating. Thank you. Amazing. Spread the word. <laughs> My name is Ejewa Abigail from Our Lady of Providence. And it's located in Buno region. And I also want to say we have to patronize this team. This thing, Because girls are there. We can do anything. We don't have to let boys bring us down because boys are boys. They can do. No, we can also do. If you want, we will do. So we have to patronize it. Most definitely. Okay, so I'm also in the person of Blessing Bosiakum, coming from Prince of Peace Girls in High School, South Chinstra, Sukumase. So I also believe that the STEAM education needs to be utilized because it's high time women also become independent in terms of the science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and art and designing. It's high time we take over and we show the whole world that yes, we can do it. Thank you. Awesome. So she wants a total takeover from this side to this side so that they can start running the show amazing what has been your thoughts about this conversation please put in the comment box what is so interesting to you put in the comment box and then let's keep the conversation going um i so much appreciate um the regional education director western uh, central region i'll see you again very soon and bye